Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to go over how to fill in your eyebrows so that your eyebrows look on the natural side and they look a little fuller. This works if you have, well, if you already have full eyebrows, then you know, you can still do it this way. But if you have eyebrows like mine that are kind of um, on the thinner side, the sparsy side, um, this is going to achieve, this is going to help you achieve a more fuller, softer, natural looking eyebrow. So I do my eyebrows like this sometimes. Um, and sometimes I just use a pencil, but I'm going to show you when I have like a little bit of extra time, what I do to get kind of fuller eyebrows. A couple things that I want to share with you guys though, is some eyebrow products that I do use. You don't have to use exactly what I'm going to show you. If you have an eyebrow pencil, eyebrow product that like you really like, like definitely stick to it. But I'm going to show you a couple of eyebrow pencils and I'm going to show you an eyebrow powder. Really, really like eyebrow pencils for shaping the brow. My two favorite currently um, is the one from CoverGirl. It's the new one that has like the fine point like that it's a very small point it's got the spoolie on the end i don't remember how much i paid for this um i don't know maybe like somewhere between eight and ten dollars from cvs then another favorite of mine which is actually a little more affordable it is from a korean brand also from cvs and it's from uh peri para and it's the speedy skinny brow it comes like this same, I would say it's the same size as the CoverGirl one. So this eyebrow pencil costs like $6.99. has a spoolie in the back. These eyebrow pencils are very, very comparable to uh, the Anastasia ones. Uh, the Anastasia ones are really good. It's just like, I think it's like $22, $24. So depending on how often you use like eyebrow pencils, if you burn through them quick like I do, um, sometimes I feel like it's a little bit easier to just go to the drugstore, go to CVS and pick one of these up. This is the one product that I definitely go through. Like, you know, there's some products that we buy and we're like, oh, I'll, I'll hit pan or I never hit pan or whatever. Like I go through eyebrow pencils cause I film in my eyebrows like daily. Anyway, so I'm going to use this one in the video, the Peri Para, and then the other product I want to show you is um, eyebrow powder. Oh, eyebrow powder. Yeah, eyebrow powder. Eyebrow eyeshadow powder. <laughs> I like the Anastasia one. This one I've had for a long time. So, because I use this for my eyebrows, it takes it takes some time for me to go through it. Um, but any eyebrow uh, powder that you have, or even if like basically with your eyebrows, you want to color it in. You want to color in your eyebrows with a color that's close to your hair color, but never darker. So now, uh, obviously I went dark, so I'm not gonna go darker than this. And my my hair right now is, um, it's a deep brown. It's, kind of, it's close to my natural hair color. So if you see like my eyebrows, they're pretty dark, but I'm gonna keep it at a darker brown color. I would never go to black. That would just be too harsh for my skin tone. If you're blonde, you wanna go a hair if you're blonde you want to fill in your eyebrows that's the only time you want to go a little bit darker if you're blonde you go like a brown um, if your hair is black like dyed black you still don't really want to go in with a like a black like a carbon black eyeshadow you want to go in with like a like a deep brown um, okay so oh okay, yes uh, and brushes so when you're using a brush to fill in the powder, you guys have seen me use this a ton of times. I really like the Bobbi Brown uh, Brow Definer Brow Groomer, which is this one. It's like a double-ended, has a spoolie on one end. I know it's it's pricey, so you don't have to get this particular one. If you get one that's, um, you just want it to be like the, the bristles to be stiff and on an angle. That I find as long as it has that, like you're good. Another option is the um, Bobbi Brown eyebrow, like the regular eyebrow brush. I don't remember what the price point is, but they're definitely over 20 bucks. 
Then there's, um, I used to use this a lot before I bought those um, brushes. I use the Laura Mercier, it's a smudge brush. And it's funny because it's, it's one of these brushes that you use to like kind of smudge out your liner. If you have something like that, even if it's in this shape, like this like domey shape, as long as it kind of tapers and it's stiff, it's going to work. For a more affordable option, I'm also going to show you the Morphe 508, M508, which is also a smudge brush. So for the sake of it, I'm going to do my eyebrows with this one. Again, because it's affordable, it's probably, I don't think it's more than $6. So, you know, I want... I want to show you guys so you can see, like, you know, you can you can still achieve it and not have to spend a ton of money on a brush. All right, so I'm going to get the, the powder. My shade is medium brown, so it comes with two powders. I'm going to use the darker one. And I'm just going to dip my brush, like, just kind of coat the end. And this is the first step, is you want to use a brush to fill in your eyebrows with powder. That's going to give it a soft, kind of full look. You see how that's already filling in my eyebrow? Oh shoot, I hope I, I, hope I didn't block you guys. So that looks a little bit heavy right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the eyebrow pencil and I'm going to take the spoolie side and I'm just going to kind of lift it up just to blend it out. See how that softens it? Like use the, ooh, use the spoolie to blend the color. And all you really have to do is just pull it through where you just put that powder. It's super simple. Let the spoolie do the work for you. See how that softened it? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pencil side. This one is in the shade Natural Brown. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to line the bottom part of my eyebrow and I'm going to hold the pencil back here because it's going to give me the least amount of pressure because you don't want it to look like it's harsh or like yeah, you don't want harsh lines and I'm just going to slide it like I'm going to feather it out like that and you're just going to take it across the bottom of the eyebrow and follow the natural shape. See? See how that gives it like that defined look? Um, underneath. I don't ever do that concealer thing, like carve out my eyebrow. I don't do that. I would just rather take my time lining this part and then um, just leave it like that. I'm not going to sit here and start putting concealer on my eye. I just, I don't have the time to do it um, every day. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just being honest. Um, and then here, you see how there's like a little sparse part there with a very light hand I'm just gonna pull this up it almost it's almost like I'm not even touching it and then if you want you can like this part I don't have that much hair there so again I'm going to just lightly fill in that gap Now, if you ever are filling in your eyebrow, so that's how I would do it 
to kind of make it look um, softer and, and kind of like a soft, fluffy, feathery eyebrow. At least for myself, I can't have like those super feathery eyebrows because I don't have that much hair on my eyebrows, but I guess I would call this more of a feathery eyebrow for somebody who has thin, sparse eyebrows. So that's one way. Um, or you could always start with a pencil and then throw the powder on. I'll show you the difference. But for me, I just feel like this looks more feathery. Same thing. I'm going to start in the inner corner and lightly fill in my brow. When you're filling in your eyebrows, try not to go like this like I was just doing. <laughs> I know the shape of my eyebrows, so I can kind of fill it out. But if you're like, especially if you're first starting to use uh, pencils, don't, don't make faces like this because then you'll trace your eyebrow funny and then you'll just look like shocked all the time. You don't want to do that. Same thing I say, like whenever I'm doing um, somebody's eyebrows, like if I'm doing their makeup, Sometimes people just have this reaction where they're like this when you're doing your eyebrows. And I'm like, you need to relax your face. Just relax. Because then you're going to have this like surprised expression on your face. I know this eyebrow is a little more arched than my other one. And then you just fill it in. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys is... Just in case you do go heavy handed, which I'll, I'll go heavy handed right now. Let's say you happen to just go like this, right? And it looks too, like, it's too harsh. Just get your pinky and pull it up. It'll just blend the product out and it doesn't look like a sharpie, harsh eyebrow. Just like that. Even if you have an eyebrow pencil that you really like and it doesn't have a spoolie and you just happen to go a little bit too well, just get your pinky. That's it. I like this formula because it's not super waxy, but it's not powdery where you put it on and you have time to kind of play around with it. So do that. And then, again, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, but I just personally feel like this eyebrow always looks softer when I do the powder first and then I just shape the bottom part but I can just go in with the powder on this one and fill it in and always when you're filling it in start back here or like here and then whatever's left over you can bring to the front of their eyebrow I don't know you guys tell me like personally like I said before, I just feel like this eyebrow just looks a little more feathery, a little softer, and more natural. This one definitely looks like you, you, you I filled in my eyebrow and it's like, I don't want to say it's perfect because it's not perfect, but like, you know, it's a little perfect. So that's my, um, that's my eyebrow routine. So honestly, like every day, what I typically do is I'll just take an eyebrow pencil. I'll fill it in how you saw. I'll go like that and then I'll call it a day. But when I want my eyebrows to look a little more defined, a little like, like I put time into it, I'll do um, powder and pencil or pencil and powder. So that's my eyebrows for you guys. If you have any questions, comments, please make sure you comment down below. Um, my giveaway is still open, so make sure that you enter it. If you haven't, if you're new, make sure you subscribe, go to that video, make a comment so you can be entered into my giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next video.